Greetings, sim racing enthusiasts, to the ultimate guide to this year's top 10 racing wheels. Whether you're a seasoned pro, a casual gamer, or just dipping your toes into the world of sim racing, we've meticulously curated a list that caters to all. From the best budget options to the absolute zenith of professional-grade racing wheels, we've got it all covered here. As always, you can find all the links to the products that are mentioned in this video right in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Let's dive right in. Ranking at number 10 on our list are two top-tier budget wheels, the Hori Racing Wheel Apex for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC, officially licensed by Sony, compatible with Gran Turismo 7. And the Racing Wheel Overdrive designed for Xbox Series XS by Hori, officially licensed by Microsoft. Although these wheels are priced around $150 and lack force feedback, they serve as an ideal option for individuals on a tight budget, unwilling to invest more in a racing wheel. Despite the absence of force feedback, they make up for it with a comfortable grip, adjustable sensitivity, and programmable buttons. Precision is ensured through an adjustable dead zone, and the wide foot pedal contributes to a realistic driving experience. Crafted with simplicity in mind, these wheels offer an excellent entry point into the realm of sim racing without straining your finances, making them the perfect choice for budget-conscious individuals seeking an authentic driving experience with a racing wheel. However, for those willing to stretch their budget to around $300, Logitech offers the best budget entry-level force feedback wheels in the market. The Logitech G920 is compatible with PC and Xbox, while the Logitech G29 gaming racing wheel tailored for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, or 3, and PC, both provide an immersive force feedback experience. Investing in these models is a game changer, as force feedback is a crucial element in sim racing, enhancing realism and responsiveness over the Hori racing wheels. If you're on the lookout for the ultimate beginner-friendly force feedback racing wheel, I highly recommend opting for Logitech's G920 for PC and Xbox or the Logitech G29 Gaming Racing Wheel for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, or 3, and PC. This will surely elevate your sim racing experience by unlocking the immersive world of force feedback within the $300 budget range. Cruising into the ninth spot, we have the upgraded version of the older Logitech G29 and G920, the new Logitech G923 racing wheel and pedals. This will strikes a balance between affordability and features, making it a favorite among budget-conscious gamers who still crave a thrilling experience. The Logitech G923 True Force Sim Racing Wheel is a stellar choice for beginners seeking an immersive experience at around $350. Boasting True Force technology, it delivers lifelike upgraded force feedback and enhances realism compared to its older models G29 and G920. With responsive pedals, a leather-wrapped wheel, and integrated controls, it's an ideal, budget-friendly entry point for aspiring sim racers. Twenty years ago, Logitech G revolutionized driving simulation by developing their first critically acclaimed steering wheel with force feedback. Now they return with the new G923, a next generation wheel that completely changes the way we experience today's bleeding edge racing sims. And powering the G923 is True Force, a new force feedback technology that captures the feel of the road with exceptional realism, transporting you directly into the driver's seat. In combination with helical gears, closed loop electronics, and real time physics, True Force lets you feel everything with greater accuracy and more realism. True Force is a proprietary high definition force feedback technology that creates a more authentic, true to life racing experience. 
Not only does this tech provide a more realistic racing simulation by speaking directly to the physics and audio engines of the game, it also feeds more accurate information to the driver about their surroundings, so they can make better decisions on the road and improve their lap times. The G923 steering wheel pulls in with a slew of other notable features, including a dual-clutch launch, which makes getting off the starting line a faster experience. It also sports a progressively sprung brake pedal system that gives you a much more responsive, realistic feel of putting on the brakes. Rounding out the G923's features are a 24-point selector, RPM LEDs, and fully integrated PC-compatible Xbox One or PlayStation buttons, making it easier to take control of the best next-gen racing sims. While everything under the hood of the G923 is certainly impressive, its high-tech components are housed in premium materials too, including a brushed metal wheel with a hand-stitched leather cover, as well as polished metal pedals designed for comfort and durability. When I'm driving an F1 car, steering wheel feedback is one of the most important things. It helps me decide when to brake and how hard. It's how I feel the surface of the road. Every bump in the terrain, every wheel slip. If my tires are starting to lose grip, I can sense that immediately. When I'm driving in a sim, I need that same tactility, that level of detail I have in a real car. Racing games have come a long way in the last 20 years. Nothing's really changed in how we approach force feedback in all that time. Cutting edge sims are now so realistic, drivers across all disciplines are using them for training. Our main goal when designing True Force was to improve the number of sensations that you actually feel, to put you better in contact with the car that you're driving so that you can improve your performance and that enjoyment of driving on a track. The physical feedback needs to be more immediate or accurate or a player loses immersion or control. Game developers are still having to recreate their force feedback from a set library of effects instead of deriving it from real-time modeling. TrueForce is special because it levels the playing field for PC and console gamers. You're now getting the extra level of precision and detail that you need, regardless of which platform is your choice. This is not just iteration, it's total evolution. True Force Force Feedback works differently. It hooks directly into the physics engine of the game. Games already calculate the forces on the tires and the steering wheel. The TrueForce algorithm is able to process this data at up to 4,000 times a second. It will even use the game's audio engine and pass it directly on to the driver. We spend a lot of time as audio designers trying to make each car sound unique and as realistic as we possibly can. Being able to integrate the audio into the force feedback is something that we've wanted to do for a long time and TrueForce enables us to do that. And the ability to send the audio to the wheel to have it respond and vibrate with a loss of traction really increases my ability to give that immersion to the player. You can sense the changing surface of the road. You'll be able to feel if the back end of the car is losing grip. The first time we had it running in the build, you could feel the wheel humming and vibrating as we revved the engine. Our immediate reaction was it really adds another level of immersion the first thing you're going to feel with a true force wheel is the engine mode. The minute the engine starts in the game, you will know exactly which car you are driving. True force is the beginning of something new. This is now the foundation for all wheels that we'll produce in the future. This extra level of information gives everyone all the information they need to learn how to control their car better. TrueForce benefits any racing fan looking for a more realistic driving experience. Because winning is all about feeling.
At number 8, we have the Thrustmaster T300RS, Gran Turismo Edition racing wheel with pedals, for PS5, PS4, and PC. This wheel brings precision and realism to the next level. Its advanced force feedback system provides an immersive driving sensation without breaking the bank. The Thrustmaster T300RS stands as the superior choice for console gamers aiming for a mid-range wheel, priced around $500. It boasts 1080-degree force feedback, providing an immersive racing experience for PlayStation consoles. The detachable GT-style wheel, adjustable rotation angle, and dual belt system for smooth gaming sessions offer precise control. Compared to the Logitech G923, the T300RS offers a more robust force feedback system, making it the discerning racer's preference in the $500 price range. Elevate your gaming experience with the T300RS a top-tier mid-range racing wheel for console enthusiasts. Breaking into the top 10 at number 7 is the Fanatex Gran Turismo DD Pro for PS5, PS4, and PC. Known for its durable construction and precise control, this wheel caters to both beginners and intermediate racers looking for a reliable companion on the virtual track. The Gran Turismo DD Pro by Fanatec is a game-changer for console gamers, providing a mid-range racing wheel experience at around $800. Boasting a direct drive system, this wheel delivers unparalleled force feedback precision. With 8 newton meters of torque, it's a one-step upgrade over the T300RS, offering a more realistic driving feel. The compatibility with PlayStation and PC ensures a versatile gaming experience. Featuring a quick-release system for easy customization, a durable build, and ultra-responsive feedback, the Gran Turismo DD Pro establishes itself as the go-to choice for those seeking a substantial console racing upgrade.
In the sixth spot, we have the all-in-one Thrustmaster T818 Ferrari SF1000 simulator for PC. This wheel is a true performer, focusing on precision and realism. Its advanced features make it a popular choice for competitive sim racers looking for an edge on the competition. The Thrustmaster T818 Ferrari SF1000 simulator, priced in the $1,000 range, stands as a pinnacle in sim racing. Officially licensed by Ferrari, this direct drive, force feedback racing will offers an unparalleled experience for PC users. Boasting a robust and realistic design, it provides a genuine feel of the track. The precision and accuracy are heightened with magnetic sensor technology. With a detachable racing wheel inspired by the Ferrari SF1000, an all-in-one solution for serious sim racers is at your fingertips, delivering a blend of performance and luxury for the ultimate gaming experience. Ciao, sono Andrea Capoccia e sono un pilota per Scuderia Ferrari Esports Team. Sono John Ferrari e sono un sim driver per la Scuderia Ferrari Esports Team. Ciao, sono Giorgio Simonini e sono il team manager di Scuderia Ferrari Esports Team. Vi sempre vogliamo un wheel che ti dà le possibilità di agire rapidamente per capire cosa sta succedendo sul track. Puoi sentire le curve quando si va sopra la chicane. Ciao, sono Normally, as an esports driver, I never really care too much about the looks of what I use. But being a Ferrari driver is really flattering for me to drive such a branded product. Driving with the Ferrari brand T818 is a great pleasure for all of us. It gives us the right opportunity to have a partnership with Trustmaster and uh, do well throughout our competitions. The things you almost instantly feel driving the T818 is the sharpness of the power. The unfiltered power definitely helps you in that regard and it helps you be more consistent and more comfortable. The 10 newton meter stork actually feels perfect. It makes you feel perfectly what you want to feel and at the exact moment you want to feel it. The SF1000 wheel is just phenomenal. It has all the buttons you need, all the toggles you need. The screen gives me a lot of info where I am gaining time, where I'm losing it. The T818 Ferrari SF1000 simulator is a good call for esports environments. Zooming into the top 5, we find the Logitech G Pro Racing Wheel, available for Xbox and PC, or PlayStation and PC. This wheel is all about customization, allowing you to fine-tune every aspect of your racing experience. With a sleek design and advanced features, it's a fantastic intermediate option. The Logitech G Pro Racing Wheel stands out as the ultimate all-in-one racing wheel system, priced around $1,000 delivering a premium experience for both console and PC enthusiasts. Boasting an impressive array of features, including TrueForce force feedback technology, an adjustable pedal unit, and a high-quality leather-wrapped wheel, it provides unparalleled realism. Compatible with Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, it ensures a seamless transition across platforms. With advanced precision and customizable settings, it caters to seasoned racers seeking top-tier performance. 
The Logitech G Pro Racing Wheel is the epitome of versatility, combining cutting-edge technology with a sleek design for a truly immersive racing experience. Logitech has always been at the forefront of sim racing. Direct Drive is the solution that makes TrueForce fully embody what it can actually do. We wanted to raise the bar uh, in terms of performance and finally release the product that will uh, truly unleash the potential of true force. It's just incredible how much force the 11 nanometers has. If you upgrade from like the G93, it's such another experience. The fidelity that you're getting just goes off the scale. You can feel every little aspect of the car and the road surface, and it just helps you feel everything so much better and get you to drive and enjoy the experience even more and improve your lap times as well. We have a highly regarded reputation for our wheels and have done for a long time now, but the pro wheel and base are something completely new from the ground up. Some of the big improvements that we were hungry to address were just the overall quality and feel of not only the driving experience, but just the tactility of each individual object. You know, how we're even treating kind of finer details around like where we want you to actually touch products and interact with them, whether it's a, a control knob on the steering wheel or it's a knurling pattern on the compression system of the brake. The collaboration is an important aspect for everything we do with Pro. You need to have a product that the pros actually want to use. You start getting the pros and the enthusiasts involved at a pretty early level. You know, we take a lot of those ideas, we, we build them, we prototype them, and that's when the real hard work, the, the execution starts. So we develop all of those ideas along with engineering support to, to come up with something that can support these users. It was great to be involved in the development process and see all the changes that were made, but also pretty difficult because I knew the wheel was coming for a couple of years and I couldn't share my excitement with anybody. Everything that I wanted is in the wheel, so you don't need to get like a separate load cell or separate magnetic shifter. It's all in one package. The design of the wheel is definitely no exception. We actually had dummy wheels with elements of those buttons with different layouts, different designs that you could attach and detach, and slide and move around. And once you then lay that out, you get all the different positions and you end up with a position that works actually brilliantly for everyone. Even the dials down at the bottom, that slightly left brain, right brain thing where the dial on the right is facing you, but the other dial is more in line with uh, spinning. That's an important thing that we tested and got feedback from the pros and the enthusiasts on. The magnetic shifters are a key component to that feel, that engagement you get when you're racing in a sim. You want to know that you've shifted gear. When you put your hands on the shifters and you feel the magnetic click of them, every touch point has the authentic material and it kind of permeates through the whole experience. It's a little bit like the difference between a mechanical keyboard and a standard keyboard. You have a, a, a much more crispy feeling with the mechanical keyboard and it's the same with the magnetic sheet. Load cell brakes are generally considered to be the most important upgrade if you want to improve your lap times. Many, many people find that once they start getting used to it, they're knocking two, three, four or five seconds off their lap times. Within the brake system, we've got a, a load cell sensor on the brake with a, a really interesting kind of compression system where you can remove the cap and access a cavity where you use different durometer rubbers and foams to really change how much compression the brake pedal gives you. It's a material that's flexing and you're measuring the amount of compression and flex in the material as you put pressure on it. Instead of measuring a position, you're actually measuring how much force the user's pushing onto the pedals. So the load cell system's really good in terms of translating that force into a braking force inside the game. 
Configurability is an important part of the product for everyone. Everyone's different. We very much made sure that it's easy to change all those aspects. So a lot of the insides are actually on the outside. We're exposing a lot more of how this product is built with the hope that people get in there and, and change how their pedals function, how they respond to different driving styles and different preferences. Some people like the pedal spacing in a certain way. Certain rigs have big center columns in them, so it's very difficult to get your legs around. So if you can change the spacing between the pedals, it makes it a lot easier to be able to use them. With all the options you have on the screen, you can personalize like the driving style completely. How much force do you want? How much true force do you want? For some games, you don't want to break to 100%, so you can just increase the force so you break it around 80% all the time. And that made a huge difference for me not locking up my wheels. A lot of hard work has gone into this project and we're always excited to get feedback from drivers, even up until the last minute. And that's why we've set up a session with Richard and some pro drivers from W Series and G Challenge to come and test the finished product. They're definitely gonna have a lot of feedback and I can't wait to hear what they have to say. How's it feeling? It's... Yeah, like for me as a, as a real driver, it feels like almost, I wouldn't say identical, but it's like 75% there. I mean, the only feeling is really the feeling of the car below you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly the power yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, no matter what you do. But I feel the, the feeling you get in the wheel, you know, is basically everything you can. I like the brake. It, I hit it and I was like, I didn't expect to stop so quick because it's, it's so, you have feeling behind it. It's not just a floppy. Yeah, but it's, if it's got that it's got that pressure behind it yeah, yeah. the force feedback wheel feels really good uh, again like it's just a lot more realistic it's nice to have weight behind the steering wheel as opposed to it feeling like fresh air and like you can do a full yeah. lock when there's nothing there whereas this one you actually have to put some effort into it <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. yeah like you can feel it if you have it turned up you can you can start like after a long stint you definitely feel it that extra stuff you're getting from the engine note and there's a bit of track noise coming through mm. the, the wheel as well. Was that yeah. something you noticed? Again, that's something that brings you close to real life. Obviously, yeah. you don't get that through all the sim racing rules. Yeah. You know, the emulsification of you being basically there, the noise, the feeling, everything. So I feel that's like another element that this wheel is unique. I think everybody should try to get their hands on a pro wheel and pedals because I can try to explain the experience, but at the end, you have to feel it yourself, experience it and just have fun. The feeling within Logitech now, now that we are ready to release this, is just, it, it's satisfaction. This product is amazing. It feels great. Everyone has had something to do to contribute to where we've ended up. And this now is definitely the best wheel that we have ever made at Logitech G. Securing the fourth position is the Moza or 12 wheel base for PC users. This wheel is a favorite among serious gamers, offering high end force feedback and a premium build quality. It's the perfect choice for those who demand nothing but the best. If you don't need all the console compatibility that the Logitech G Pro Racing Wheel offers, this is an amazing choice for PC users. The Moza or 12 wheel base emerges as a stellar choice for PC racing enthusiasts offering a compelling alternative to the Logitech Pro at nearly half the cost. With a competitive price point, this wheel base doesn't compromise on features. Boasting a robust build, ultra-responsive force feedback, and high-precision sensors, it provides an immersive and precise driving experience. Designed exclusively for PC users, the Moza R12 is a budget-friendly powerhouse that doesn't skimp on quality. If you seek affordability without sacrificing performance, this wheel base stands out as an exceptional option, surpassing the Logitech Pro in value for your PC racing setup.
square body design and compact form factor is carried over from the popular R9 wheelbase. On the exterior, there are minor design changes to the aluminium body and rear housing, all with a high quality fit and finish as found on all Moser wheelbases. At the sides, along with the Moser logo, there is a small R12 logo engraved. The wheel shaft is newly designed on the R12 with the integrated quick release mount rather than a separate bolt-on part we had on earlier models. It now also has a machined cutout on the top, helping indicate the correct orientation when installing a steering wheel. At the top of the wheelbase we can find the two handy mounting points for an optional display. Moving to the back we can find the power button, USB and power connections. The R12 also features an expanded range of connection ports for the pedals, dash, shifter, handbrake and emergency stop. Although the port labelling is a little hard to see in low light conditions, it's great being able to plug in all the accessories without using additional USB hubs or ports on a PC. Located at the bottom of the wheelbase, there are four M6 mounting holes. The R12 can be installed and bolted onto a SIM rig, or by using the optional table clamp kit, the compact size of the R12 is able to be installed onto a desk. The R12 wheelbase is compatible with PC and the pithouse software is used to adjust and control the wheel settings. This is used to adjust the basic force feedback strength and rotation angle or to adjust more advanced settings. There is a selection of pre-configured preset modes for quickly setting up the wheelbase to suit the driving style. The default settings work well and can be further customised to your preference and then saved. Another important safety setting is the hands-off protection. This is especially helpful when using higher powered direct drive wheelbases. For steering wheel compatibility, the R12 wheelbase is compatible with the ES wheel, FSR formula, KS and all current V2 wheels and all future Moser steering wheels, or even aftermarket steering wheels on a separate quick release. Now, entering the top three, we have the C-Magic Alpha U direct drive wheelbase for PC. This wheel is a game changer, providing a high level of realism for the money and an unparalleled racing experience. Its cutting edge technology makes it a top pick for enthusiasts who demand top tier performance. The C-Magic Alpha U Direct Drive Wheelbase is the epitome of precision for hardcore sim racing enthusiasts, priced around $1,000. Boasting a powerful 23 Newton meters torque motor and a rapid 262144 PPR resolution encoder, it delivers unrivaled realism and responsiveness on the PC platform. The direct drive system eliminates latency, ensuring a true-to-life driving experience. With an aluminum construction and compatibility with various wheel rims, it offers customization for the ultimate immersion. Born for the hardcore sim racing experience, the C-Magic Alpha U is a top-tier investment, providing unparalleled performance and realism for the most dedicated virtual racers. Freddie Osmo, Sim Magic Ambassador. We're here in uh, Seattle for round six of Formula Drift. Sim Magic is bringing all these rigs with them on tour this year, and uh, it's a great chance for people to come out and test the best equipment in the business. Imagine driver, I got one, one of these guys who love to try and sim racing and I had the opportunity to have one of these bad boys here. I really enjoy it. I take it very seriously. We do whatever we do on the track, we simulate it here, and this is the best tool to do it. So I recommend you guys to stop by, check it out, drive it yourself, and I'll assure you, you're gonna enjoy it.
last year. One of the things that I really enjoyed is shifters, e-brake, and like the combination of the steering wheel. Like you feel like a real car right away. That, that if you can hear the snapping of it, of the transmissions, it feels like a real car. So that's something that I really enjoy. The feedback, the feeling, the pedals. Oh my God, the pedals feel so on point. Uh, you can adjust. I just came out of the car, drive this, and it feels like very natural. So this is next level, great quality, and get your excitement right away. As you can see, we're having a glass here, for sure. We're tandeming, having a good time, smiling, and uh, this is awesome, guys. This is awesome. Let's keep going. So cool with the smoke and everything. <laughs> the good thing is you don't need to change tires or gasoline. clutch kicks as I want to without to destroy the clutch here. <laughs> Tell me what you're tuning. I'm tuning suspensions. Of course, we got Freddie next to me. I'm sure he's not doing stock stuff. He says it's gonna be stock, but it's not stock at all. So yeah, I gotta step up. Uh, I know how it goes. So that's the good thing about the magic. You can literally tune in everything you want, and that's what I'm doing right now. So just taking advantage of that and have my own. And I've been tuning in a lot and enjoying it a lot. So I'm gonna try to do that now. What's that? I think the coolest thing about all the Sim Magic gear is how nice it's all made. I mean, look at the steering wheels with the buttons, and it's like a real life race car wheel. And then if you look at the pedals here, we got two P1000 setups, and this one is inverted, and it has the haptic reactors to where you can sense the traction control working, you can feel the ABS, and the pedals have the right amount of resistance. The, uh, the throttle pedal has pretty long throw. Brake pedal, you can tune the feel. This one's pretty firm. And the clutch even has that little step. So this is as close as you can get to real car experience. Revving up to the second spot, we present the Astatex Invicta Direct Drive Wheelbase for PC. This wheel is a beast on the track, offering a combination of power, precision, and style. It's a go-to choice for serious racers who want to take their sim racing to the next level. The Astatec Invicta Direct Drive Wheelbase 27 Newton meters is the epitome of precision and power, crafted for enthusiasts seeking full immersion sim racing on PC within the $1,500 range. With an impressive 27 Newton meters torque, this wheelbase delivers unparalleled force feedback for a lifelike driving experience. Featuring a robust construction, it ensures durability through intense races. The brushless servo motor guarantees smooth and responsive control, while the 1080 degrees rotation provides unmatched realism. Compatible with a range of sim racing titles, the Astatec Invicta is a premium investment for those craving top-tier performance and a true-to-life connection with the virtual track. So the Invicta wheelbase, um, very good. Of course, it's basically the first thing you want is to try and get the loads in the steering wheel similar to the real car. I think one, one thing that I really found with this wheelbase 
is, and also the pedals, is, is the, how easy it is to adjust the menu and the, the platform that they go and, and, and adjust these different forces and, and settings. It's uh, very user friendly. You know, it's, it's one of the things that can make or break an experience in a, in a sim. And, and I think it's, it's at a very good level where it actually it represents the same sort of forces and, 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 and feelings as you get in, in the real car. You're never gonna be able to make it, you know, one-to-one. -one. Uh, but this comes close. You get in, in, a, in a position where you, after a while, when you've been driving, you kind of forget what the real car feels like because it's close enough, so you, you forget about it and, and it's not a, a disturbance. Hello everyone, my name is Andre. I'm the founder and the CEO of AcTech. Today is a big day because today we are finally going to launch our wheelbases. It has been a crazy couple of years and more or less exactly two years ago I had the first contact with Granite Devices about potentially acquiring some of their IP because Asetek wanted to get into the wheelbase market. Uh, since then, we have come out with several sets of pedals. We have uh, developed, uh, as you can see in front of me, three different wheelbases. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk about uh, today. We have three bases here. Some of you have seen some of it from previews and from trade shows. So first, we have the Forte wheelbase here. It's 18 Newton meters. So quite a strong uh, wheelbase. Here we have the Invicta wheelbase. That's 27 Newton meters. So that's basically from IndyCar and below. Uh, this this uh, guy here can handle uh, pretty much everything. And then here we have the La Prima wheelbase. That's our entry level. That's 12 Newton meter. So for an entry level wheelbase, I would say it's still uh, quite strong. When we do the segmentation, we try not to, let's say, uh, take out quality, uh, take out important stuff. So what you see on all these wheelbases is they share similar specs. So it means no matter which product in our portfolio uh, you pick, you actually get the same resolution. You get the same high quality electronics. As you can also see here on the Forte, we have four LED strips, same as with our pedals. On the Invicta, we have six LED strips and then uh, on the La Prima, we have zero LED strips. So that's some of the features we've taken away to hit a much lower price point, but the quality in the driving, the experience is exactly the same. We did a partnership with Mige, who is very well known in the sim sports uh, area, as you already know. Um, and then we started to design the motor uh, from our liking and from what we wanted. If I take the core of, uh, of the motor here, you can see everything is, uh, is metal. All vital parts are metal. We have a high quality slip ring. And when I say high quality, I mean it. We have tested it for more than 200 million activations and still without a loss in fidelity in, in terms of the USB signal. Here we have the 22-bit encoder. And then we have our PCB. So everything on these wheelbases in terms of quality is exactly the same. The difference is the strength and then a little bit on the features. So the Invicta and the Forte, they both have five USB ports uh, in the back. So you can uh, connect your uh, Invicta or Forte pedals. Uh, you can connect uh, future Acetec or third party uh, peripherals. Whereas on the La Prima, uh, there is only a connection to the PC. You can put in a USB hub here and then have the same uh, functionality. But in, in terms of uh, shipping from our side, uh, it's been de-featured a little bit um, to hit the price point you would like to hit. So another unique feature about our uh, La Prima series and, and also the Forte to some extent is that, that we, uh, we make these, um, let's say, uh, stage kits where you can actually upgrade your wheelbase. You buy a new PCB, you buy a new power supply, and you buy the LED strips, and then boom, you have a Forte wheelbase. Speaking of upgrades, I know a lot of you are interested in console uh, compatibility. And uh, we are not at a stage now where I can say that these are console compatible. 
because either we have it the official way or we don't have it. What you do at home is, is fine with us, of course, but we cannot go out and say we support consoles when it's a hack uh, at the end of the day. But we are actively working on it. I cannot say when we are, when we are done, because in brutal honesty, that's also up to, uh, to Sony and to Microsoft. So, so that's the way, the way we look at that. If you look at the Forte and the Invicta, you have both a power on button and you have a torque off button. Whereas uh, on the La Prima, you only have the power button. Should you wish to upgrade later with the torque off, you can do that. But we believe with 12 Newton meter, torque off is not really an uh, essential feature. These, uh, these buttons, you can either mount them directly on your rig or you can mount them on some of, uh, on some of our mounts as well. If you look at any of these uh, motors here, there are T-slots built in to the motor itself. So when you get it from us, there will be T-slot nuts already pre-mounted. So if you have a rig like that, uh, or you want to drill in your table, you can do it. However, we have a variety of mounts. So let me try to go uh, through them. What we have here is uh, what we refer to as a table mount. Of course, you can mount it on a rig as well, but as you can see here, it can mount on a table. This is a, a really, uh, let's say, simple and cost-effective way of uh, mounting everything. We also have side mounts. If you have a rig where you have the profiles coming from the side, we have made them like this. So the idea is that you screw from your rig into this. There's M8 threads here or the other way around. And then you attach the motor to these brackets and then the motor will still be able to slide back and forth in the side mount. And if you use this bracket, you can take it off or you can use it. But if you use this bracket, you actually also have tilt in the mount. Then we have a, what we call a bottom mount that can be mounted on your table or it can be mounted on the table mount if you want that as well. But pretty simple again, you mount it under the, under the motor. The motor can slide back and forth. And if you use these uh, inner brackets, you can take them off or you can use them. If you use the inner ones, you also have tilt. So there's pretty much tilt function in all of them. I have saved, I think for most of you, uh, the best to the last and that is uh, our front mount. To mount this, you simply take off the quick connector, you take off the front piece, you put on the mount, put in four bolts, put on the cover again, uh, slide this in, and then you have it. And it's very elegant where you can see the ribs and everything from the motor goes to the, goes to the front face here. And uh, you're not required to, but it's actually possible to take the mounts from the button boxes off, so you don't need the mount, and then you mount your buttons directly uh, into the face of the front mount. All in all, we have four or five different mount option, uh, mounting options, and I think I can't really imagine a scenario where you would not be able to, uh, to mount these. And when we, when we ship it from our factory, you get it as the base motor, where you can mount it from the bottom, slide it back and forth, and if you want anything else, you can pick and choose between all these uh, different mounting options. Let's talk about the, the quick release a little bit. When we built these and when we designed them, it was a, a monumental thing for me not to have the wires. We don't want to be depending on wires flapping around. We don't want to uh, be depending on a Bluetooth uh, signal that can potentially drop off. And we also realized that being locked into someone's ecosystem can be a little bit annoying. So the way we have tried to solve this with our quick release is actually to open it up to other steering wheel uh, manufacturers. Let me just show you for, uh, for a second how it works. You slide on the wheel, then it's mounted, and then you take it off again. So it's very easy. You have the USB connection, you have the power connection, you have everything uh, through this simple no play uh, connector. So if we start with our flagship model, the Invicta, uh, that wheelbase is 1499.99 euros or dollars, 27 Newton meter, super high resolution, super low latency, 
really a, a great wheelbase. If you go one step down and say, I think 18 Newton meter is sufficient for me, this is a $999.99 wheelbase. That is really a great value for a wheelbase of this caliber. If we move to the left and say, okay, what about the 12 Newton meter La Prima? That will actually only be offered as a bundle directly from Acetec. And that bundle will consist of a La Prima steering wheel that we will cover in another video. It will consist of La, La Prima pedals that we'll also cover in another video. But the great thing is all these three things together, $1,349.99 or Euro for a top-notch, high-resolution, high-strength, quality wheelbase. Claiming the throne at number one is none other than the Cymacube 2 Ultimate. This wheel is the epitome of excellence, featuring cutting-edge technology, unparalleled force feedback, and a design that screams professional racing. It's the dream wheel for those who demand the absolute best in the world of sim racing. The Cymacube 2 Ultimate PC stands as the epitome of excellence in the world of sim racing, offering unparalleled precision and performance for professional racing teams, drivers, and dedicated enthusiasts. Priced in the $3,000 range, this wheel is a substantial investment, but for those who breathe sim racing, it's a game changer. Boasting a robust direct drive system, it delivers true-to-life force feedback, powered by a staggering 32 newton meters of torque. The ultra-responsive and precise magnetic encoder ensures an unrivaled level of detail, translating every nuance of the virtual track directly to your hands. Crafted for the most demanding users, the Cymacube 2 Ultimate PC features a full metal CNC machined body, providing both durability and a sleek aesthetic. The wireless QR system simplifies wheel changes, enhancing the overall user experience. With a 24-bit resolution on the magnetic encoder, it surpasses industry standards, ensuring an immersive and authentic racing encounter. Designed for PC, this wheel is a high-performance marvel that redefines the boundaries of sim racing. While its premium price may deter casual users, the Cymacube 2 Ultimate PC stands as the ultimate choice for those who demand the absolute best, delivering an unparalleled level of realism and precision for an immersive and exhilarating racing experience. My name is Singer Rob, and I'm the driver of the number 51 Biohaven Honda for Dale Coyne and Rickware Racing in the NTT IndyCar Series. And today, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys the Simi Cube 2 Ultimate. As a young athlete, it's important to have seat time. And one of the things about motorsports is that we have an off season. You know, if you're a golfer, a basketball player, a football player, you can go out and shoot hoops, you can go hit golf balls, you can go to the driving range, you can play catch with your dad, whatever else. But as a motorsports athlete, you have to go to a racetrack. You have to have the cart, car, whatever it may be, in order to get that practice time. And when I'm only driving six months out of the year in real life, the simulator gave me time away from the racetrack in my home or wherever else it may be, where I could develop that seat time. And although it might not be the exact same variables all the time, similar to what a racetrack has, it's very, very realistic in the sense that it's allowing my mind to connect those myelin and practice the ideas and thought processes and successes that will translate to being at a real racetrack. So previously, I drove the Simi Cube 2 Pro and that was a great wheel. I had good fidelity, uh, great feedback, and it was great for the junior ranks of open wheel racing. But when stepping up into IndyCar, because we don't have power steering, and there's a lot of downforce and a lot of grip, I needed that extra torque that came from the Simi Cube 2 Ultimate. And not only that, but it also increased in the slew rate. That slew rate helps me feel more on the racetrack. It gives me really good, consistent feedback that I can translate to the racetrack. And so right now, we're driving at Laguna Seca, which is a super hilly road course in California. And I actually have the wheel torque turned down so I can talk to you guys right now. Um, but one of the beautiful things about running the Cube 2 Ultimate at a track like this is that it's very physically demanding. 
So we're coming up to the corkscrew now, and you enter the brake zone, do a big brake, and then right about here, you point the lane of the car at the bottom of the hill there. And when I mean land the car, you're actually entering the turn and then dropping off with almost unweighted wheels. It's easy to learn a track, you know, left hand turn, right hand turn, straight away, off camber, etc. But it's the details that make a big difference in how you handle the car. And without a high feedback, very detailed hub, you can't feel those nuances, those details, so that when you get to the track, you become oversaturated with that. For example, Barber Motorsports Park has a lot of off camber, lots of compression, and there may be a bump there. And that bump could be the difference between hitting a wall or setting the fastest lap time. And all that it really takes is a couple miles an hour to make that, that error. And so having a simulator that allows me to push the limits and feel that feedback, that detail that comes from the SimuCube 2 Ultimate, it allows me to understand the consequences once I arrive at the racetrack. That oversaturation in practice helps me feel normal and active in the car when I get in reality. There are many advantages to using the Ultimate. Um, one of them is the high torque. That high torque, it may not be as important in the junior ranks because in the junior ranks, you're not dealing with this high downforce or high, high level grip. But as you move into the IndyCar series, we're doing speeds of 220, 230 miles an hour. And that high torque, it allows me to practice focusing on the physical side while driving those speeds. Because at those speeds, there's no room for air. And one of the things I like to talk about while going at those speeds is that even though the car is going faster, as a driver, you have to slow down. You have to be more in control. And so if you're not prepared physically for that, then you're gonna make mistakes. And mistakes at 230 miles an hour mean big impacts and a lot of damage. Another thing with that is that the advantage of having higher torque is higher saturation of the driver's mind. Um, one of the things that is really important as athletes is that we avoid what I like to call brain fade. And that's when you see mistakes made. That's when you see drivers that are way out in the lead when they hit that rhythm when they're by themselves, drive off the racetrack or hit the wall or whatever else it may be. And so it's my job to work on and practice oversaturating my senses all the time. So I'm not burning out, I'm not hitting that rhythm, I'm not fading. And so for that higher torque, it's really, really good to train. We're dealing with heart rates anywhere from 140 to 180 beats per minute for over two to two and a half hours. And when you're doing that, your, your mental focus also goes away. And so you have to make sure that what you're doing at home practicing is even more difficult than what I'm doing in the car. And so the ultimate wheel allows me to do that. I can tune that power up and that extra power means that it's actually more difficult than what the Indy car might be offering. And so I'm practicing beyond what I might see. And even if I do see that, I'm already prepared for it. So I have the wheel turned up all the way, and this is the first time that I've used it at 100%. Oh yeah, there it is. Like I'm working a lot. I'm working a lot right now. <laughs> the ultimate wheel is very realistic. One of the things that I, I like to feel is super high fidelity. And with a wheel that has that much power, it also I think allows for more fine tune. And that's a beautiful thing about the Simu Cube as a lot of tuning ability. And so as a driver, you can kind of feel it out in the race car and then tune it to be what it is in real life. And we're not always looking for what's most comfortable. Because if it was comfortable, I wouldn't want the extra power, the extra fidelity. But because I want that to experience it in my home on my own simulator, I can make sure that I'm prepared for it when I get out to the racetrack. And so part of that reality is having super high frequency, super strong, good kickback, and making it consistent. Consistency is very important because if it's an inconsistent feedback, then it's not adjustable. It's not adjustable to what the driver needs to feel. The driver needs to be able to adapt to the conditions around them. And if the conditions are always adapting around the driver, it's not gonna work well. Thanks for watching. If you were interested at all in the SimuCube 2 Ultimate or any other SimuCube products from this video, make sure you go to SimuCube.com and check it out. And feel free, if you see me at a racetrack in the IndyCar Series race or anywhere else, Stop me, come say hi, talk to me about the simulator, ask questions, love to talk to you about it.
We chose the Simicube 2 wheelbase simply because it is just the best. It works across a wide range of platforms and delivers the feedback the drivers need to perform at the highest level. When you're sim racing, your feedback comes from what you can see on the screen, what you can hear, and also what you can feel through the steering wheel. And when you're driving, you're trying to feel what the tires are doing. Is the rear slipping? Is it rotating? Are you at the limit of the grip the tires can provide? You can't see that on screen and you can't hear that, but you can feel that. And the reality behind it is that that's all the tools that these drivers have available to them. The Simic Cube 2 Ultimate feels incredibly close to real life. You can adjust it in so many ways that um, you can replicate the exact same forces that I felt in karting or Formula 4. You can change uh, an incredible level of detail. For example, the force feedback or the damper settings to really get the perfect feeling that you need. For feedback from the, the Simicube gives you the information to sort of extract all of it from the car, but at the end of the day, you have to be the one that sort of puts it all together and your talents will make the difference. Simicube was just the best equipment for replicating what we need within multiple simulation environments. As always, thank you for checking out our review. Discover more about these fantastic products with the links in the description down below. If this video has brought you value and excitement, don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. See you in the next one.